Hello, it's Adam here, bringing you a very simple but exciting tutorial on After Effects. We've had a couple of requests. Um, one on how to tint uh, effects from stock packages like um, Action Essentials or DestinationFilms.com. Uh, by the way, Death, uh, Action Essentials is a, um, a visual effects pack created by, I think it's Andrew Kramer and you can get it from Video Copilot. Uh, they have um, they have two versions, they have a 2K uh, extreme high definition version and the 720p version, it's the one I use. Uh, and I don't really need 2K. That's 2Ks. Um, not really necessary for uh, YouTube. But obviously that pack is not free. Destination, oh there, 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 there. there. Detonation Films, however, is a cool place to get free visual effects. They're kind of stock footage like muzzle flares, uh, explosions, head blowing off and fire and things like that. The basics, and again, that's completely free. Go ahead, check that out. I used this for quite some time. Someone said something about um, doing uh, equipment videos, uh, where we get our equipment from. Uh, you know, going through our equipment, where to get cool stuff. Although all that information we put on a really old uh, website, did uh, I think it was last year, hasn't been updated. So there are a few things that are out of date there. Um, but all the basic information is there on how to get. You know, especially if you're looking for World War Two kit, um, then head over there. Um, so. Once uh, I had a phone call from a teacher and my my brother put that on when I was on the phone and I couldn't stop laughing. It was the funniest thing ever. My name's Sebastian. First things first. Put your hand up if you thought Adam Star was boring. Well, I thought it was. Right, here we are in After Effects. Finally. Now we're taking a shot from Medal of Honor Special Operations again. And we're focusing on this red blood effect. Now, many YouTubers use this because it's, it's simple and easy to create and it does the job well. How the hell does this work? Well, from Action Essentials, we've got a few powder hits. So here we are. Here's the powder hit. And as you can see, it is just a... <coughs> excuse me. Um, get rid of that. There we are. The uh, very simple powder effect. Now, as you can see, the powder effect is actually white. Well, sometimes it's useful, sometimes it isn't. But to create a brilliant effect, you need to tint it. How does this work? How does this work? Okay, you can see here, we've added a tint effect. I said tint, not tit. Don't laugh. Let's put it into the effects and presets bar in the corner. Tint. And there we are. So, let's tint this area red. We grab the tint in color correction. We can double click on it as long as we're selecting the correct layer, or we can drag it to the correct layer, like so. And it brings up the tint here in the effects controls on the left hand side. Oh my god, he's been shot in the f so over here, we go to the Map White 2 section. Uh, map White 2. What's the point of that? Why doesn't it just say Color 2? So complicated. Now, to create simple, easy blood effect, we apply a dark red tint to the footage. And there we are. We have a dark red tint to the cloud of... of of powder. And seems pretty easy, but that's it basically. And you can see that in this layer, everything is tracked to the null objects, as you can see here. If you're confused about motion tracking, don't worry, we've got a motion tracking tutorial on our channel. Go and find it. Because I'm not putting a link in this description. Well, that was really, really, really boring. Now, if you have any other requests, please tell us.
By the way, we um, are planning on doing a huge airsoft tournament thing with um, a couple of the film crew members. And Um, and that'll be fun. Um, it'll be sort of like um, an overnight kind of airsofting event where they'll be out camping and it'll be really good fun. So that'll be cool. Um, and obviously we'll, we'll try and structure that into a, a kind of contest video, but similar to the contest, which we had a disaster with uh, when it came to post-production. But the problem with the contest was uh, we'd edited it on, on a PC, switched to Mac, um, PC version, I have no idea what happened to it, um, no one has been bothered to re-edit it. In other words, I can't be bothered. Right, I think that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed that very small tutorial and there's a couple of little updates in there, but hopefully we'll get some equipment videos out to you, even though all the information is there already on the website. So, um, that... <laughs> so, again, I hope you enjoyed this... I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, hopefully...